So 85% of you changed picking C, which is E. Um, F1 is two blocks to the right and two blocks upward. F2 is two blocks to the right and two blocks downward. If I take F2 and I move it up to here, then up here, F2, two blocks to the right and two blocks downward. F2 goes along this angle right here and ends right there, four blocks to the right of this initial point. So that's the sum of F1 and F2, and it points to the east. And its magnitude is, a lot, is somewhat larger than F1 or F2. Um, how many of you put head to tail and did it that way in, in your head or on paper? How many of you just looked at two blocks to the right and two blocks up and two blocks to the right and two blocks down and said, well, the two blocks up and the two blocks down cancel, so it's four blocks to the right? Okay, so that is another way to do this. If C is A plus B, then the X component of C has to be the X component of A plus the X component of B. If I take X to be to the right and Y to be vertical, as I usually would, then the X component of F1 is the amount of F1 that goes to the right. That's two blocks. The Y component of F1 is the amount of F1 that is upward, and that's two blocks. So the X component of F1 is two. The Y component of F1 is two. What about F2? Well, it's also two blocks to the right. So its X component is also two. On the other hand, it's two blocks downward. So its Y component is negative two. So F1 has an X component of two. F2 has an X component of two. They both point to the right, two blocks. So C, or sorry, F1 plus F2, the sum of the two, has to have an X component that's the sum of those two X components, in other words, four. So C, this red one, has to point four blocks to the right. How about vertical? Well, the Y component of F1 is plus two. The Y component of F2 is minus two, so those just cancel, and F1 plus F2 has zero Y component. None of it is up or down. So you could have done this one by adding vectors head to tail, or you could have done this one by, by looking at the components, the pieces that make up the vectors, and adding them together. This one, you don't have components, so you kind of only have pieces. Um, Something I haven't said yet, but I should. Let me do it right here. Suppose I want to subtract two things. Different ways of doing this, but one way to do it is to add this is just like regular numbers. Add the negative of the number. Add the negative of the vector. Any guesses on, on what the negative of a vector that points straight up would be? Vector that points straight down. That's right. Negative just means switch the direction. Keep the magnitude the same. But switch the direction. So adding C plus the negative of B means, what did I have? I had A that looked like this. I had B that looked like something like that. So negative of B 
is the opposite of B. Same, same length, same magnitude, but opposite direction. I want to add negative of B, so I'm making this hard on myself. I want to add negative of B onto A in a way that makes it really hard for you to see what's going on. That's my plan here. Negative of B onto A means take this negative of B, put the tail of it there, and so if I start at A and end at the end of negative B, that gives me A minus B. Any questions about some of what's going on, any of what's going on here? Because I'm going to give you a chance to do it for yourselves, right now even. The velocity vector of something is always in the direction that the position vector is changing. So that's what That's what this tells you. V is in the same direction as delta R, the direction that the position vector is changing. So I ask you here, what direction is the velocity? And the way you can figure that out, in case you don't just know the answer, is take the, uh, find the change in the position vector. 